Hello, sweet friends. Happy Color Snack Sunday. Since we're at the beginning of the new year, um, and I actually had one of my planners come to an end because I just ran out of paper, um, I started this new one, which is pretty much a bullet journal, and I wanted to make a quick video um, just to share uh, a little bit about my process and how I'm intending to keep it. So. Just for reference, this is the one that I just finished. Look how <laughs> raggedy it's gotten. Um, I've had it for two years, so this was like pre-color snack days. Um, I started it with an index, had a future log, then had a habit tracker. Um, and then eventually just kind of descended into me doing sketches and sketching out different ideas for projects. Kind of just like super rough ink sketches. Um, just to have like a place to for um, for jotting down my ideas and brainstorming visually so yeah this little guy is finally done with um, and I got a new one this is a it's called a North Books um, journal and it, it is a bullet journal because it has those little dots which I really like um, they're really fun to just have it like as a reference point if you want to sketch something and so I wanted to show you briefly just kind of how I set it up and I know what I've heard a lot of people say is that you know getting started with a bold journal is super hard and actually I used to think the same way but if you just kind of set up the a couple of first few pages and then leave the rest to be whatever you want like kind of as as the time comes, you know, you don't have to pre-plan them or anything. I think it takes out the pressure of having like, quote unquote, like bullet journal. You can just kind of keep it as a planner and have fun with it. So my first page is the index page and that's typically how you would set up a bullet journal. And then I go into like a future log, you know, a couple of my events for January and then February, March. Um, just kind of like jotting down the main things that will be happening. And then I do want to uh, be more intentional about reading books this year. So I created a whole page so that I have like a visual reference of the actual books I will have read in 2019. So hopefully this will have quite a few titles, um, more so the last year. And then, so in my previous journal, I had, let me show you, I had this large bullet tracker. Like I wanted to do all these various things. And then eventually it just kind of became overwhelming keeping track or like starting um, so many habits at once. So for this year, um, my main goal as far as like a habit is to do a monthly workout. And I like the idea of a monthly workout because, well, first of all, if I'm just starting out, like I want to be mindful that I won't be able to go out, work, to go work out every day. But if I do it more, uh, more often than before then it's an already a win for me So that's why like I feel like the monthly workout tracker kind of takes out the pressure of like oh my gosh I need to work out every single day because um, That may not happen and that's okay. You know, that's my pace right now. I'm gonna start out with Like a couple of workouts a week um, If that happens great if not then that's just you know, whatever the number is gonna be and then it's I have like little great little boxes for each of the months to just kind of like have a visual record of um, how much I worked out and then if I need to improve on that or like go more often then I'll, I'll know where to where to do that and then this next page is my <laughs> BHAG uh, goals which are big hairy audacious goals for 2019 I'm gonna fill that in here so that I just have like a visual written out reference um, that I can always turn to so even if you know I'm planning something another project or something um, in the future I can always turn back and be like okay 2019 these were my goals is this in alignment with what I wanted at the beginning of the year and then I have my Q1 first quarter block plan that I'm gonna fill this in with what I'm gonna do for color snack and then throughout um, these little pages oh yeah I have a, a page for affirmations um, and if you notice like these pages are kind of crinkly because I've used some watercolor on it and um, This bullet journal is not meant for watercolors, but it does take like a thin layer nicely and I don't mind 
the little crinkle. It just kind of feels nice to have that. Um, so I just wanted to add some color, you know, to my pages. And I think it gives like a really nice little, little effect that you can add to bring color to your borders and whatnot. And then for these little illustrations, I was using Allie Kay's uh, flower book. Let me show you. So Florals by Hand by Allie Kay. She's a Dallas artist, super awesome. Um, highly recommend getting this book. There's so many fun tutorials with flowers and whatnot. So getting her book got me inspired to do some, some flower doodling. And so I thought it would just be nice, like a little visual, something pretty on the page, you know, whatever this page may end up being, like it may be competing with a different concept or sketch, but I like it because it just makes me happy. And I think ultimately like <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. So if a page um, needs a little bit more color, add more color. And yeah, so I'm gonna do like a quick little spread for um, Dallas dessert places that I wanna try out. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna start out with, I'm using this Pentel pen, brush pen. Um, I like to use it because the tip is very um, bendy. So the lines are gonna vary a lot. And then I don't have to worry about it being perfect because I know it really can't be perfect anyway. So it just kind of takes out the pressure of doing something like super pretty. For example, like a lot of these flowers were done with, with this brush pen and you can see like the varying lines. So let's see, I, I wanna sketch, I'm gonna sketch like a little, a little coffee cup. Nothing to too complex or crazy, just really like rough, rough sketch of a coffee cup and then I want to do like a little uh, croissant so that it kind of goes with my theme. So this page is going to be um, I'm gonna write down, make a list of different Dallas places uh, that serve desserts that I wanna try out. So I just thought it would be fun to do like a little rough sketch of a croissant. love this brush pen and just like can create fun little textures with it and you don't have to worry about it being perfect because literally you can't make a straight line it's very hard to do so so yeah I got my little sketch and then to finish that off I'm gonna use uh, a Mozart water brush pen with one of these flat pointy tip or not pointy I guess a flat tip and I'm just gonna add like, I'm gonna grab some color. I'll do some of this orange. Mix it in with a little bit of red. And I just wanna add like a fun little border here. So, just to add like a little bit of color to the page. Grab some yellow. Yeah. So see, it doesn't have to be super involved or complex. Because um, there are like serious bullet journalers out there. <laughs> and, you know, it does take time to like set up a particular page or whatnot. But... I just want to keep it simple and I'm just going to write, so I love these little pencils that have like multiple colors in them. Uh, 
This one is from the Dali Museum, and this one is... So I, be, I believe the brand is Koi, Koi Noor. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but um, I'll be sure to link to it just in case. So let's see, I'm gonna call this page uh, Dallas Desserts. Okay, I'm gonna maybe change it up to Dallas Sweets because I don't have enough room. Or actually, let's see. I'm gonna write out desserts in like a little cursive. Yeah. And then I'm also gonna add um, this little uh, bullet journal sticker. It's actually, I mean, it's just a sticker that you can put on anything, but I just love the idea of like another pop of color. And I just love ice cream and like multicolored stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put it right here. This is one of my favorite stickers that I designed and I love, um, so it's also made out of durable vinyl, so it's dishwasher safe. So I have lots of them on like water bottles and stuff, um, but they're super fun to like include in a little, little journal spread and whatnot. So yeah, oh and um, I guess last thing I could do is I like to add like little outlines to my sketches just cause like it's another way to add a pop of color and it's just super fun. So I'm using one of these uh, Posca, Posca pens uh, markers with acrylic ink and these are also super fun to use so yeah so this is my bullet journal um, I'm excited to keep it and you know um, keep my work projects in here and brainstorm for future ideas and whatnot and also of course a great place for more stickers um, but yeah so if you want to give it a try let me know um, I think I think these are great, like, I think a bullet journal, like, structure is great to kind of kick it off, but you don't have to stick it, to stick with it, or basically you don't have to make it complicated, like, just Google some ideas of, like, bullet journal layouts and have fun, like, use whatever you want and then adjust it to your taste. Um, I think it's super worthwhile and it helps you um, stay organized and on track, <laughs> which I really need help with that. Anyway, I hope you have a great and creative day, sweet friends. Um, if you end up trying a bullet journal like this, let me know. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And thank, thank you so much for being here.